This offer I'm about to share with you is unbelievable. Unbelievable. 100% of your money gets credited at my store. Pick your seat, secure your seat, pay for your seat, and what I automatically do is give you a 100% credit at GrantCardone.com. 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 Plus 100. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to the Cardone Zone. This is another episode of your favorite show of the week, Young Hustlers, where every Thursday at noon East Coast Standard Time, we dig into how you can achieve more in a shorter period of time. Because look, nobody wants to, to get rich when they're old and crusty. People want to do it now. And so that's what uh, I loved about Grant when I first found his content material, and that is what I bring to you on a weekly basis to share. These are things that I've learned and picked up along the way working for Grant, and my hope is that you get a little behind the scenes peek and a little exposure to the things that uh, I have been able to learn here working for Grant, and hopefully you can apply them in your life, in your career, and uh, on your journey getting to where you want to go. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call into the show. It's 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. We got a great topic today, uh, something that, that I think a lot of people uh, misunderstand. A lot of people don't really understand how to handle this, how to deal with it, and ultimately how to overcome it. And what I wanna to do today is I wanna talk about what to do when you're having a bad day. Everybody has bad days. I'm having one today. Jeez. Everybody has bad days and the key is... Am I overdressed for this show? No, dude, did you see this iced out 10X, uh, these 10X dog tags, it's all icy? Can you come in close? That was a gift. Can you your microphone? We yeah. ever wanted to, don't worry about that. Can you come in close? Come in close, come in close on the GC dog tags. So we're talking about how to get through a bad day. One key point that I wanna make before I get started is the fact that bad days are guaranteed to happen. Your goal, your job, is to make sure that a bad day doesn't become bad days and that bad days don't become a bad week and that a bad week doesn't become a bad month, etc. And too often in times what happens is people allow one thing to happen to them and it starts derailing everything that they've built, everything that they've accomplished, all the, the momentum that they've been able to generate. And there are some tricks and some things that you can do to uh, correct and about face in these situations and I'm gonna share them with you today. When's the last time you had a bad day, Jared? Man, I, Give yes, me an example of a bad uh, day. Day before yesterday. Why, what, what was bad about it? Dude, I, you know, I got bad news about, uh, like major bad news about a partner we work with. Uh, yeah. I got major, I had to fire somebody. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. never fun. Um, you know, and then uh, just f frustration with, with how to get to the next level in the business. Mm -hmm. So it happens all the so, time. So how did you handle that? How did, how did you turn that around? Do you have a strategy, a system? Well, the thing is, is you can't, you can't just say, hey, I've got a bad day and you could just fix it immediately. It's a discipline. Mm -hmm. It's a discipline. And, and one thing that I told Dave, because sometimes he has bad days and sometimes you can see. Dave Robart. Yeah, he has these, these things that happen and it, and it, and it, and it like drags on along the, the, throughout the week. And one thing that I actually, I think where I learned this from is in golf. Because in mm -hmm. golf, when you have a bad hole, it's one hole out of an entire round. And when you step up to the next tee box, you have to be able to play the hole as a new hole. You can't let that carry over. And yeah. so you have to reset really quick. And a lot of folks, what they do is they have a bad day, they have something, situation that's happening to them, and they don't, they don't have the ability to work through it and work past it in a short period of time. And your success will in, in dealing with bad days will ultimately be determined by how quick you can get through it. And, and I think that the first thing that people really have to understand. First, you're gonna have bad days. Everybody <laughs> has bad days. How often do you have bad days? Uh, you know, I don't even know. I don't even see them as bad days anymore because mm -hmm. I know they're like, like it's just part of a day. Like losing a deal. Like you're just gonna lose deals. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. when I go back to where am I going? Mm -hmm. You know, like your analogy of the golf course. Mm -hmm. Like I know the way for me to fix that game is for me to go back and hit a shot that I'm that I'm comfortable with. Yep. It's not to go home. Rather than I go focus, home right now. Yeah. And I just I I I I'm bringing home the bad the bad shots with mm -hmm. me. I gotta correct the shot. So mm -hmm. whether I do it on the on the range, and go do go, let me go hit an iron that's easy for me. Yeah. But in 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 our business, when we're not getting something done, the first thing I'm gonna do is go get something done, like 
I'm going to drop the weights yeah. until I can pick up something comfortably. And this goes back. I'm going to make a, in my case, I'm yeah. going to make a, a call where I know I can sell something. Yeah. And this goes back to one of the things that people talk about. They're like, you, they talk about your failures. You know, I learned from my failures and you're like, no, 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 you don't want to learn from your failures. You want to learn from your successes. Yeah. And so I think that's another way to look at, hey, how do I go back to something that I'm comfortable with, that I'm familiar with, and something ultimately that worked? The, the old adage about get back on the horse. Yeah. You know, that, that's still good today. You got to get back on. Maybe I need to slow it down from a gallop mm -hmm. to just a walking. Mm -hmm. But I think I got to, for me, I got to cut the gradient of the activity back because uh -huh. I've edged into something. Regardless of where you are, you're going to edge into something where you're going to start having more failures and successes. Yeah. Because you're, you're out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I just got to drop back a little bit, get a couple wins and victories. I mean, when do we win the most? Uh, when we can repeat successful actions. <laughs> when, when we're winning. Yeah. It's yeah. easier to win when you're winning. Yeah. So if you're watching a basketball game, it's like, why aren't they taking the layup? Mm -hmm. Like, dude, I, you, you keep throwing up these three-pointers. Brick. You're shooting from the brick. Like brick. air. Yeah. Like, wh why don't you go back to layups? A two-foot shot. A bank shot. Okay, then we get to the foul lines. Okay, and then you get enough confidence. You don't keep taking a three-shot if you're missing it all night. Yeah. Because you're just going to get further and further behind. So, so I think that uh, what we could say is like you're in a position now, like you're like a, a veteran I entrepreneur, just take three shots. a veteran business person. Like you, yeah, you, yeah. you get to the you point where, hey, dude, I just know bad days are part of the deal and it doesn't really affect me. Yeah. But there are a lot of people out there who are sitting there going, dude, bad days destroy. ruin me. Destroy. Like they destroy me. So what do you think is like, what do you think is one thing that if, if somebody's out there right now, let's yeah. just say they had a bad morning and now they're in a bad day right now. What's one thing that they can do right now to reset? Cut back the gradient. Mm -hmm. Go do something easy mm -hmm. that you know, you know like, like I'm always going to go back to friends and family. Mm -hmm. Go back to my customer base. Mm -hmm. What do I always do? I'm not yeah. always cut it back to sell or be sold. Mm -hmm. Power so base, yeah. Seller, uh, go back to power base. Who's mm -hmm. going to say yes to me? Who can I do a deal with? Who can I cut a deal with? Who will... Like, who am I going to get victory from, okay? Number one. Number two, got the 10X rule is the solution to all bad days. Mm -hmm. The ultimate, ultimate solution to all disappointment and discouragement. Mm -hmm. Redefine discouragement and disappointment and rejection. It is the incorrect estimation. Oh, I had rejection because you thought that guy was going to say yes when you should have said, no, I need 10 of them mm -hmm. in order for one to say yes. You're, you're basically... You're not having a rejection moment. You're having a, uh-oh, my business model's broken. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough people in my pipeline. Yeah. So one, accept it. Hey, I just lost a deal. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, uh, cut the gradient back. And three, hey, let's fill up that pipeline. It's funny because for me, like I, I, I would say that I'm not where you're at yet. Like a bad day still has an impact on me. Things uh -huh. that happen, it still has an impact on me. But one of the things that I've done I feel like I'm in the middle. Like you're the, the end game, I'm in the middle, and then there are other people out there who it's a real problem for. Yeah, it destroys them. They're, one, they're gonna get drunk all weekend. One of, the things, one of the things that really helped me is because I know that it happens to everybody, and because I know that other people use this as an excuse or a reason to fall back, I always see the opportunity in it. And I've developed this ability to go like, Hey, there's an opportunity here. When I run into something hard, I learned this from you. Mm -hmm. Like where I run into something difficult or something hard and I have like a pullback moment, immediately I go, there's an opportunity here. What, where is the opportunity? And then I, I look, hey, other people are gonna quit now. Yes, yes, is this sure. gonna Is this my opportunity to get a little bit further ahead of the pack? Right, right. And so that automatically gets me excited because now I know that I'm in control of something. I'm back in control of this thing. Hey, now it's I'm in full control of whether or not I move forward with this or I allow it to pull me back. Yeah. So, so I, I look for the opportunity in it. And, and one of the things like, when I, when, is Jared, this is a great topic, mm -hmm. how to handle a bad day. Guys, if you've ever had a bad day, call us, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. You need a formula. Mm -hmm. It should be, a oh, bad day, click, Yeah. lights out, okay, lights out. I mean, somebody goes over there and turns the switch off and the lights go out. Mm -hmm. So same thing with bad day. Bad day, what's your go-to moves? Right, so for me, my go-to moves, I'm glad you brought this up because yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think I had quantified it. So yeah. if I have a bad day or a bad call, a uh, bad day, whatever, uh, a, a, a bad day is the result of a bunch of bad calls Sure. For me. So yeah. what do I do? Oh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the gradient back of the calls. 
Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to save that last call. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flip this to somebody else and say, can you call this guy and find out what happened? Mm -hmm. It went terrible. Like, they hung up on me. I'm going to flip it. We do that in the, in the sales room. Yeah. Because if I could turn that call around, if I could turn, if bad could become good all of a sudden, oh, my God. Yeah. This is what made me think about that is mm -hmm. this is an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and the opportunity is everybody else is going to fall off right mm -hmm. now. It's happened to everybody. Yep. And two, if I could reverse this call right now, I don't have the guts to do it. Mm -hmm. I just got hit with too much bad. Mm -hmm. I'm not the person to make the call unless I got a split personality. Yeah. So anybody could call Natalie, Rock, Francisco, if they could understand him. Hey, why didn't, why didn't you buy it? Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't understand you. Give me, put Grant back on. Yeah. Um, you know, that puts, and that goes back to what you said about mm -hmm. puts me back in charge. Yeah. One thing, that, one thing that also helped me, a trick that helped me, is like, so immediately I shift into opportunity. And then the second thing that I go to is, who can I help? Uh, oh yeah, love so that, that is man. a different variation love, of the gradient, that. like cutting the gradient yeah. back. Like if I was slamming on calls and I was just getting beat up and I was really starting to get, I'd call somebody safe who I yes. knew, like yes. a Keenan or somebody like that, and I'd be like, "Hey man, what can I do to help you out? Can I can I pull a couple guys and let me do a sales meeting for you yeah, guys yeah, real quick?" Yeah. Service, he go, you go into service. I do because that that reminds gets you out of yourself. Yep, gets you out of your loss. Yep, and gets you back into service. Yep. Um, I love that. I used to do that when I was selling cars. If I couldn't, if mm -hmm. I couldn't sell a car, um, everybody I talked to. I mean, you, you go through these spells where you're like, you got voodoo on you. Yeah. You know, you got like some kind of uh, kryptonite. You, yeah. you, you, you're no longer Superman. Uh -huh. And I'd be like, hey, Jared, let me call your customers. I don't want anything for it. Let me just call. Because I'd have a freedom with your customers that... that you wouldn't have with yours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 305-865-8668. We do this show every Thursday. You told yep. me when we do this, right? Every Thursday. Thursday. Noon, yep. It is on Stitcher, on iTunes, on the all podcast distribution networks as the Cardone Zone, mm -hmm. where you get five new shows a week. You can listen or you can watch if you're on YouTube. Hey man, please subscribe to the channel. 1.3 million people have, and they have all been extremely satisfied. Free to you, we just ask you to subscribe and comment though. First caller. Can't hear you, but what is the- Christian what in is, San Diego? Have you had a, ever had a bad day in San Diego? Sand dog. You there? I'm yes, I'm here. Yo, I learned, hey, what's going I, learned, on? I learned to surf in San Diego. Yeah. I had a bad day. My Uncle first Z, day. how you doing? Yo, what's Free up? To you. Hey, what's up? It's uh, Christian out here. Uh, I met you out in boot camp. I was out in Miami a couple weeks ago. Uh, I'm doing your mentor program. I'm freaking stoked. Dude, dude, let me ask you, what happened for you after the boot camp? So what happened is uh, I went back to work. Uh, the culture was just dead. I just, long story short, I ended up quitting my nine to five and I'm launching, on, launching my own company. So I'm in development phase. Uh, right now, I'm just like grinding. One of the things that's really been resonating for me is it takes courage to make money, not money to make money. That's so I right. I literally have that quote right on my, uh, posted on my wall. You should go get it I tattooed. Say, like, I tell you away. what, you, if you get it tattooed this weekend, I'll, I'll make you known all over the gram. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. On, on, uh, on your forearm right here, it takes courage to make money. Yeah, that's, that's a good one for sure. Grant Cardone with my Here's face my on your ass. G. Here's my question. So I'm totally like on board. Like, Natalie, I'm, don't I you believe tattoo in myself. my face on I your ass. I know what I'm weekend. doing. I know what I want to take my company. My question is like my family, they're just looking at me like I'm crazy. How do you deal with that? How do you get everybody well, on Well, dude, I got to say quitting your job was a little crazy. Like <laughs> that's not something we promote here. But, but I'll tell you, I'll, this, this is actually a really good point that you bring up, Christian, because when you have bad days or you have challenges or adversity around you, the people that you consider your network or your friends are vital. That's why we created the mentor program, where we have a 90-day program where we are talking about how to tackle some of these challenges in your life, how to develop strategies to move through them, and how to get connected with people who are like-minded, who can help you when you have bad days. Like you're in San Diego, you may not know somebody who's supportive of you or who's 10X or who's all this stuff. That's why that mentor group is so important. So you could just drop in the Facebook group, say, yo, I'm having a bad day. What can you get? Can anybody provide me with some encouragement? Yeah, yeah. That's why we created the 10X Growth Conference. Another 
opportunity to get people out of their area, have an experience that's positive and uplifting around like-minded people so that you can connect. And for those of you who can't wait until February 02 2020 2020 02 2020 2020 02 2020 2020 hashtag 02 2020 2020 if you put that out there I'll see it okay if you can't wait until 02 2020 2020 join us tonight 8 p.m. for the mentor call yep okay if you haven't joined that program it's grantcardone.com forward slash mp grantcardone.com forward slash MP. So look, we're going to have you on the call tonight, my little brother, San Diego brother. We're going to actually bring you on and talk about, get you some support inside that community. Yep. Uh, so who knows? When, when I talk about support, if he's trying something new, I'm going to try to get you some business. Yeah. Like, I don't need a hug. I don't need you to rub my shoulders. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hire a masseuse for that. Mm-hmm. I need some business. Or Ryan Secco. Oh, Ryan Secco, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, need, I need business. So what I want to do in that mentor group, grantcardone.com forward slash MP for mm-hmm. mentor program, is I want to help you guys get business, money, money. Because nothing will cure a bad day. Like a, like a victory. Yeah. Give me a victory, dude. Give me a closed deal. Give me a new customer. Give me some money. Uh, Give t- me an appointment. Tim, uh, Tim Woodford asked a good question. He goes, what if your network is turned on you? Your network will turn on you. One Look, of the when exercise, it, when I... it gets hungry, when everybody gets hungry out there, you will turn into a cannibal or you will be eaten. Okay, it's not even an issue. Like anybody's like, oh, I don't think I would eat a human. Then you will be eaten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trust me, okay? I will cut you up. I will cut you up. I don't care. Dark meat, light meat. I'll take you the grizzle. I will cut you up and eat you. Because I'm surviving. I'm not getting by. I'm, I'm going to live on. So whatever it takes. And, and one of the exercises that we, we did in the mentor program, I just want to tell and, them. And your network needs to be like that. Yeah. You need a bunch of people around you say, if you got anybody that says they won't eat, they won't cannibal, they won't, you got the wrong network. You guys need to be around a, a pack of wolves. Yep. And let me, let me say two things on this. Number one, we just launched a, a seat for our inner circle. The people that follow us, the people that listen to the podcast, the people that are on Facebook right now, everybody that's out there. We just launched a deal for you. It's gonna be available for probably the next three or four days. If you go to- uh, If you're not in the mentor program, if you're not maybe in the mentor you're in program, Australia, you're in yep. England, you can't be in the mentor program. Go to grantcardone.com forward slash GA. We have a seat section that we just launched. It's the fastest selling section that we've opened. It will sell out fast. Grant, uh, 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash GA. Tickets are 297. Let me tell you why that's important. Only if you're following me already. They're going to check to be sure you follow me on one of the social platforms. And so here's the exercise. Number one, get yourself a seat to the growth conference so that you can get a new network. Yeah. But then what you need to do to identify the freaking snake in the grass is you need to start telling people, hey, I'm going to the growth conference with Grant Cardone in February. What do you think about that? Oh, wow. You really, you went for that, dude? Boom. Bam. Get rid of him. Done. Immediately. Don't even have a conversation about it. Now, you guys that are in the mentor program, make sure, mentor program tonight at 8, make sure you either have booked your air, booked your hotel, mm-hmm. make all 12 of the meetings. Mm-hmm. Each week we have a meeting Thursday night at nine, yep. uh, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Thursdays yeah. at 8. We'll send you the invite today. Make sure you handle all 12 of those or get the seat guarantee. Now, those mentor seats are completely different than what the Jer- Jared's talking mm-hmm. about right now. Okay? Yeah. If you're not part of the mentor program, for whatever reason, you didn't take advantage of that, take advantage of this social media uh, special seating that, we, that, that he just mentioned. And the reason, the reason we, uh, we do this event, again, is so that you can get connected with people. The reason you want to talk to people about the things that you're doing that are positive, that you feel are moving you in the right direction, is because it will identify the naysayers that are around you. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. Getting, getting to the level of success that you want isn't impossible. It's probably a little difficult. It's definitely not easy, but it's really hard when you don't have a good group of people around you that are actually supporting you. Those people don't need to be in your backyard. They don't need to be your friends and family. Those people can be a bunch of people in a Facebook community that you've never even met face to face before. That are all doing, hey, I'm waking up to my day timer. I'm 10X. I am the community, okay? I start with me. I have to be strong. So all of you out there Mm -hmm. like, my community turned on me. Yeah, but have you turned on you? 
Yeah. The only way my community turns on me is if I turn on me. Yeah. And then they're like, let's turn on him too, man. He's turned on himself. Mm -hmm. So you guys got to get strong, man. You got to, you, people are turning on you because you're weak. Mm -hmm. Okay. They know you're weak. They know you won't stand up. People do not say stuff to my face. Yeah. They go a long way away and then do it. They tell somebody else, mm -hmm. oh, I'm busting Cardone's balls. But they don't do that to my face. Okay. Yeah. I'm wearing the 10X hat. I'm doing the 10X day planner. I have this on my lapel, okay? It's on my jackets. He's got it on his arm, okay? I got people send me this, say, dude, you are 10X in diamonds, okay? It so nice. when you make a statement, you know, when you make a statement, when you're on your Facebook page and you're posting every day, what are you posting? Are you posting strength or weakness? Are you posting your failures and losses, the bad days or the victories? Yeah, and 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 when you are having a bad day, like one of the one of the benefits about uh, the mentor program is you get access to the community in the group all week long, twenty four seven, three sixty five, and all day all day long, people are going in there and they're posting their wins and their successes. You and, don't and have to have your own success to allow success to create momentum for you. Yes, you just have to be close to it. And so like one of the things that we tell our mentors and, and all the people in our, our private community is that you wanna share the successes that you're having. It's not bragging, it's encouragement. It's a reminder that, that good things are happening every single day all over the place and you wanna be surrounded by that. So for me, again, we're talking about how to get through a bad day. So number one, you wanna cut the gradient. Number two, save the deal, okay? So this is uh, or get a deal or get a deal. Look, if you're you 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 maybe maybe your your day started bad at home. Mm -hmm. You're leaving and your husband, you know, y'all got in an argument on the way out, the door. Something happened. You got cut off in traffic. Mm -hmm. You need to go get a deal. The only thing that's going to fix your day is to get a win. You got to yeah. get a victory. Mm -hmm. You got to move the ball down the field. And then third thing, and I love what Jared said right here. I actually stopped. I forgot this. Who can you help? Mm -hmm. Quit thinking about your own shit. This helped me so much when I got out of the treatment center. Mm -hmm. The guy said, bro, you'll, you will stay off drugs if you just keep help other people stay off drugs. Mm -hmm. Help somebody every day. Either help somebody at work or help somebody when you're not at work. And as, as long as you're helping people, you're going to help yourself. Yeah. So this there's is, no, there's none no, of this costs money. And there's no way that helping, helping somebody makes you feel bad. No, it all, it's always like, it, it's when that's you why can't so, help somebody that you feel bad. And, and, no, it's when you choose not to. Or you try to help somebody that doesn't want help. Like if you had an argument with your wife or your husband, maybe leave them alone for a second. Mm -hmm. Go help somebody at work. Go help somebody else. There's more people on this planet than just Jared, Sandy, and Jake. Mm -hmm. There's a whole planet. There's a lot of family out mm -hmm. there that we're all responsible for. Let's talk to our next caller. 305-865-8668. Young Hustlers. Jeff in Illinois. Jeff, what's up in the ill? Illinois. Am I in, annoyed by the illness of my Illinois? What's going on, Jeff? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. What's up? What's Thanks up? for the call. You having a good day or a bad day? Hey, I'm having a great day. Man, you on with us, man. I'm glad you're sharing your great day with us. I'm happy to be sharing to it. It's, a, it's an honor and a privilege, honestly. So... Uh, yeah, uh, me, myself, I'm a philosophy, religious studies graduate from University of Illinois. Um, came back home. I live in the Quad City, so I'm right there on the Mississippi River. Uh, I found out about you through Chris True of True Realty. He came to your 10 times growth conference, and I got to sit back at home and ask, why didn't you take me, you know? <laughs> so, uh, La hey, Las Vegas might be in my future. I like that. Well, if it might be, uh, it won't be. Yeah, that's Okay, that's then fine. it is. Yeah. Let's make Let, it so. Let's transact you right now. You want to go, what, what level you want to go? I'm a diamond man, man. Woo! <laughs> okay, 20 grand, 20 grand. Let's see how committed you are, player. Let's see how. I love it. 20,000 for a diamond seat, or I'll do it for half price, or 20 grand for the diamond seat, and you get to come visit the office and meet everybody here. See, I like that. I just have to raise the funds. That's, okay. That's where I'm at. How much of the funds do you have right now? Um, maybe at uh, two grand. Good. Let's go know? ahead. Let's go ahead and transact on the two grand, man. Put your commitment. I like that. into the physical like universe. That. How do you want to handle that? Visa, Mastercard, or American Express? I'm a I'm a debit guy. I'm a Visa guy. But I want to talk more about making my 
small business, my martial arts studio, getting me to that full 20 grand, you know? Okay, so like, you're not ready to commit yet. You want to talk first. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I want advice. I, I want that, guide, that guidance. I've been following you. Let's do um, it, you man. Are, Let's you do it. Let's do it. Hey, just don't be surprised when your customer wants to talk more. Right. Yeah. That's important. That's true. All That's of true. you out there, if you want to grow your business bigger and faster and get more money, learn how to give money first. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to buy stuff fast. Th this, this is one of the greatest hacks in the universe. You sell how you buy. You sell stuff the way you buy stuff. I got to think about it. I'm committed, but I got to think about it. That means you're not committed. So, like, like I, it's all good, man. Like, we only have, like, 100 seats left in the diamond section. There's only two rows. So I'm not saying you need to do this today. I'm saying you should do it today. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, forget the 10x growth account. Everything that you look at, you guys should make a decision on as fast as you can. Yes or no. Mm -hmm. And if it's no, yeah. throw it away and don't look at it again. That's right. Buffett says this. Put 25 things that you want to accomplish on your list. Take 20 of them off. Focus on the five. Forget the other 20. Mm -hmm. Throw them away. And focus on the five and get those done. Okay, go ahead, man. What's your question? Oh, absolutely. That ties in perfectly. Uh, we talk about tools in the toolbox in the martial arts. And that back fist is that first technique. It's just like the jab. And if you don't commit to it, you're going to get hit. You're not the one hitting. Um, and yeah, so my question was just how, how I'm working third shift. I'm doing 10 hour nights at John Deere Parts Distribution Center. And then I'm also teaching martial arts the best I can to fit my schedule. Where do you think I should set my time for my future, for my well being, for my happiness to be? You need to follow the money. You right. need to follow the money. And the, and, the and money the and the health insurance keeps me clocking into John Deere, but it doesn't keep me elevating but myself. You, you, it's because I didn't say follow John Deere. I said follow the money. <laughs> right. <laughs> why, 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 why right. are you talking about John Deere when I'm talking about money? John Deere might be the yeah. hardest sales call you make in your life. You need to go follow the money today. John yeah. Deere's not going to close this afternoon, pal. You're not going to even get in the front door today. You got to follow the money. You guys need lots of drips happening. You need lots of outflow. You need lots of distribution. You can't depend on one thing for anything. 10X rule. You guys got to reread this book. You need to listen yeah. to the audio program. You need to get it inundated. It, like you need to take it and, 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 and like plug into the 10X rule. I'm talking about never depending on one of anything ever. It has nothing to do with income. It's got everything to do with the outcome not the income <laughs> man you got some good shit gc <laughs> hey hey, hey, hey any of you out there that are, uh, that are suffering from the bitch syndrome right now <laughs> that is being a little bitch grab my hoodie we got the hoodie back don't be, don't be a little bitch it's screaming at my store yeah mostly women buying it by the way Dude, okay don't be that. a little bitch yeah okay? we had a lady call up furious that we had sold out of them Furious. She's like, you got to get that hoodie back. So I'm going to go make it myself. Okay? <laughs> so, hey, my brother, let me, let me ask you this. Okay, you got two grand, two grand, two grand. Um, let's go ahead and get him a VIP seat. Confirm him in the VIP section, which are $5,000 seats. I'll do it for two right now while he's on the show. Damn. Man, two that grand. means you get to come see Rick Ross at our VIP party. And Rick Ross and you, I'm, I'm bringing... We got, we got contracts, offers out for Tupac and Biggie. Yep. Okay? So check it out. Next caller. Uh, if, he's will, if he wants to do that, tell him to call back in right now. I'll do that for two grand. That's 100% of the money he has. Let's see how much courage that bad dog's got. And I'll let him be part of our mentor program tonight for one call tonight. Wow. Ooh. Wow, wow. Pow, wow. Bow, wow. Let me ask you this. So, so when you're having a bad day, how important is it, how important is it to go back to goals? Oh my God. That's why I got, I had the daytimer out here. I got uh -huh. my daytimer. The, my daytimer, like, like the most two important pages on this, and it comes on the inside of the daytimer is this little QR code. How to. Okay. So, uh, when you punch your phone on that QR code, it's going to tell you how I write my goals down every day. I am convinced that this little technique that I do every day is responsible. This has made me at least $250 million. I'm telling you, I know Jared's done it. Mm -hmm. Ryan Secco's done it. Y'all should look at Ryan Secco's, what he writes down every morning. Crazy what he's accomplishing mm -hmm. in there. 
And what it is is I just I wake up. It doesn't have to be this daytimer. You don't have to buy yeah. a daytimer to do this. It could be that piece of paper right mm -hmm. there. Take this piece of paper. I wake up in the morning. I'm in a I'm in a Park Lane Hotel in New York City, and I got a piece of paper. I grab it. And I'm like, I am worth ten billion dollars. Okay, I own twenty thousand apartments. Okay, uh, I uh, 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 all info translated. I'll start writing in code too. It's like just letters. All info translated to fifty-eight languages. Like nobody even will even know what any of this stuff means except me. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably gonna throw it away at the end of the day, and move on. Wake up in the morning. Write my goals. Before I go to sleep at night, was there a hotel called that? Yeah, the Park Lane. Uh, yeah. ho hotel, uh, uh, go to sleep at night, I write down my goals. Anytime I'm disappointed, write down my goals. So. I want to give a shout out to, uh, to Michael, Jared, Narula, Melissa, Brent, Tara, Graham. Uh, just showing some love on, uh, on love Facebook here. Andreas, so Oyuna. Love you guys on YouTube. Appreciate Next the call. help. Okay. William Randolph. Frank. Who do we got? Christian? Christian, are you a Christian? Yes, I am. No, I'm actually Jewish. Oh, my man. No, my I'm wife's joking, Jewish, I'm which makes me kind of in that same family too, man. So if you have sex with, yeah. a, with a Jewish person, does yeah. that make you Jewish? Kinda. Does it mean it's kosher? Yep. <laughs> Do you have kosher sex? Yep. Is that a kosher winner? Yeah. Yep. Wow, wow. <laughs> Eee, kosher ah, wieners ah, at Jared's ah, place. Ah, if Jared ah, can't make ah. it at Cardone Enterprises, he'll be like, kosher wieners at Jared's. <laughs> Shabbat shalom, kosher wieners. But what day would you be open? Saturdays are closed, for sure. <laughs> no Saturday wieners. <laughs> What's going on, Christian? What's your question? All right, I got a question. Uh, I work at a dealership right now. I just picked up the job, and typically a bad day for me is when, I mean, the the floor traffic is light as it is, so when I get two or three customers coming in and I go home with no sales, that's kind of my bad day. I mean, I was wondering if I'm putting too much pressure on myself or how do I go about it? Well, look, I, I, I understand that business well. If you're in retail, you work at Nordstrom's or you, you do haircuts. No, I'm a car. I mean, or, no, I know, I know that, man. I'm just talking. I'm talking about all the possibilities, oh, okay. right? When you, when you don't score, you're on the phone all day. I got guys on the phone all day long making how many calls? Hundreds. Hundreds of phone per calls. Per day. And they'll talk to four or five people. And they're like, God damn, I hate this job. You don't hate the job. You hate the results. Yeah. You, you go, you go, you're, let's, let's, let's put you in a situation where you're a barber and you don't cut any hair that day. You're probably not going to love that day a lot. Mm -hmm. So if you're at the dealership and you're waiting on two or three people, bro, you need to be in front of more than two or three people, mm -hmm. like period. Like, what is the expectation here? Why don't you bring a car to two or three people? Yeah. That would double your chances right there of getting, getting out of this, this uh, what's it called? Rut. The rut, yeah. But, but you all, you also, yeah. it, it flips you into, like, yep. when, when you say, hey, you know, the floor's flooded, and then I get a couple Did people. Did he say that? Yeah. He said the floor flooded. Yeah, the floor flooded. That's yeah. stupid. Yeah, That's so, so like you, you got to get into a position no where, water. like I'll just tell you, in the retail business right now, the most underutilized tool that a salesperson has is the phone. Like, like mm -hmm. we, we don't have the, the opportunity of having people walk into our office and go, hey, I'm, I'm interested. Or we don't have the opportunity of, of, of lots of inbound leads or people that are interested in what we're doing. We have to create the interest. We have to go out into the marketplace and create the interest. Yeah. And if more people in your particular business, and when there's Christian, no create, what, what does that mean? There's no commitment. When you guys can't create yeah, yeah. leads, when you can't create prospects, when you can't create activity, it's because you lack commitment. Always, there is. No, th this should be like a biblical phrase, dude. I'll tell you, 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 you would be the top salesperson in your store in less than 90 days if today you made a commitment to make in at least 125 calls a day. You mm. would be a maniac. People would, people would start hating on you so hard, if dude. You, people... you, this guy ain't made 125 calls in a month. <laughs> last You're month, how wrong. many phone calls did you make last month? Uh, probably 12. Sad. Wow. Sad. Yeah, dude, you got it. Bro, you, you don't need to worry about the enemy. You are the enemy. That's right. <laughs> gotcha. You, the floor's flooded. How many people out on the floor right now? How many salespeople out there right now? 
eight or nine on the floor. Yeah. Not a single customer what, in yet. What, what's the phone number at your dealership? Um, I'll get that for you right now. It is 910-779-7000. Okay, watch this. <laughs> can you hear Francisco? You can enter it at any time. For sales, press one. For service, press two. What, what kind of course is Dodge? Thank you for calling National Dodge. How may I help you? You cannot talk to a salesperson. Yeah, one moment. Thanks for holding this, Devon. Can I help you? Hey, Devon. Um, do you got you got a you got a truck advertised in the paper right now? Yes, sir. Uh, that latitude. All right, let me pull it up real quick here. Y'all got a lot going on over there right now. What's going on, man? Y'all flooded? Nah, ain't too much happening right now. I'm actually mm -hmm. sitting here making my phone calls. Normally I'm out there on that lot, but it's kind of mm -hmm. quiet. So I mm -hmm. figured I'd call a couple customers. You know the deal. Mm-hmm. How much is that Jeep? That Jeep Latitude. You got it in the paper for. Uh, I thought you had it on the internet or on. I, I saw it somewhere for like. Eight, is, it eight. A, is, it a, is it a Patriot? Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a. It's white. Yes, it's a white Patriot. Yep, yeah, I already know what you're talking about. And uh, and, and, and it's crazy that mm -hmm. a lot of times if you call a dealership, the salesman don't even know the inventory. But best believe I know mine because I had two of them. I had a red one and I had a white one. We sold the red one oh. a couple of days ago. But the white one actually looks more expensive than the red one did. But, it, it, I mean, it does look good. But we do still have it, though. Yeah, how much is it? Let me pull it back up again. Let's see. It is online. Hold on. National. Let's see what that online price is on it. Um, I wish they would still make this vehicle, too, man. That was the hottest selling. Vehicle. Oh, this is they, they they quit making that one. Yeah, they they stopped on the um uh, on the Patriot, but the so talk is they're supposed to come back because when I say this thing sold, people swore by them, mm. say, especially for four wheel drive. So this is used. Um, yeah, I, I, the one I saw was it the new one you were looking at? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's got to be used. It's the Patriot. Oh. Yeah, cause maybe it, it was the be. latitude. Maybe it was the latitude. Hold on, let me see right quick. I'll tell you right now. I don't know, man. I, I, Here it is. Yeah, it's a Latitude. Yeah. It's a Jeep Patriot Latitude. Uh, Four-wheel drive. Yeah. Uh -huh. It only has 50,000 miles on it, and they're selling it online for thirteen one forty five. It's four-wheel drive. It okay. is super clean. Okay, man. Thanks a lot. All right? Appreciate it. Boy, man, he was actually not bad. He, he had good, good he had good time. energy, good attitude. He had some pace to the call. But what's going to happen is he is he ends up with two or three calls like this today. He's going to be like, "This is a bad day. Uh -huh. It's a bad day, bro, because you got no skills. You talk too much. You talked about red. You talked about white. You talked about how much you knew, but you don't know how to get my name. You don't know how to get my number. You don't know how to ask for an appointment. And the dude's probably a decent salesperson. Yeah. And then you wonder why why I got a bad day because you don't know what you're doing. Why you got a bad marriage because you don't know what you're doing. That's why, right. you, why you don't like parenting because you don't know what you're doing. Why don't you like a day off because you don't know what you're doing. That's right. <laughs> All of the above. So look, you guys want to get you want to get real? Get some skill. Yeah. Ooh. You want to get real? You want to get real? Let's get real. Ooh. You got to get some skill. Now that dude probably is my boy still on the phone. How long has that dude been yeah, selling cars over there, man? Devon. Is he there? How long has no, Devon no, been selling cars there? Christian, how long has Devon been at the uh, dealership? He's probably a double-digit amount of years now, but he's a top-selling guy in our dealership right now, eight months in a row. Number one guy. Yeah, he could be Batman if he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Hung up on me. Yeah. Hung up on me. He Hung gave him a shot. Hung you didn't on. hang up on the him. The only thing getting this guy, the, the only reason he's number one is because his attitude's so good. Yep. Guy's got a great attitude. Yep. Okay. So, so I, I just did that, man, to prove to you, like, look how many opportunities we're missing. This is what I would tell you mm -hmm. guys to do. If you want to avoid bad days, put on a condom. Protect yourself. Strap yourself in. Protect yourself. Get you a big strappy. <laughs>
Okay, how do you do that? What's the condom for bad days? Share your successes with everyone. Yep. You need to start telling everybody about how successful you are. Two, write your goals down every day, in the morning and at night. I'm telling you, it is like, it is like a cross to the devil. It is like, it is like light in to the, the vampire. Okay. It is like a 10x to the average. A 10x diamond dog tags to some make-believe podcaster. Three, write your affirmations every day. Affirm your reality, your future. Mm -hmm. Affirmations. Affirmations are written in present tense. I am successful. Mm -hmm. I am rich. I am happy. I am healthy. I am uh, spiritual. Four, get deals done. Ain't nothing a yep. better condom for a bad day than straight up getting a deal done. Dealio, Joe. Nothing will turn your day around, a bad day around like getting so a deal either. If, if you I, could, remember, I remember I, when I was selling. Yeah. I, here and for, for, my, for my dad. What do you mean when you were selling? When I was selling for my dad. Like okay. in, in, okay. on the floor yeah. selling deals every day here. Dude, nothing, like when you got, when you hit, when you got a good deal come in, like I remember I'd sell two jet skis on a trailer and make like, it'd be like a $6,000, $8,000 deal and I'd get, you know, I'd make 1500 bucks or something like that. It was like immediately. I'm Boom! Like, Boom. Mom, I'm Superman, man. It's like a cape. I can fly. Uh -huh. And number five, Jared brought this up. Help other people. Mm -hmm. Help other people. Stay in service. Get active, okay? Be doing something. So we talked about how to resolve the bad day. The best way to resolve it is to strap in, man. Yeah. Get you some protection. Get you some some. some yeah, some and people, people, people get all bogged down into like, man, they, they, they start thinking that, that bad days aren't ever going to happen. And so when they have one, they're like, oh man, this is terrible. It's falling apart. I'm no good at my job. I should start looking for a new job. My boss is terrible. Like they start dragging the whole freaking world down with oh, them. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and all you have to do is, is make a shift. And know that when you're having a bad day, you have to accept responsibility and know that this is your opportunity. This is your time to get a little bit better than everybody else. And to get closer to where this guy is right now, to where a bad day doesn't even affect him. He just knows it's part of the game and he works through it and it doesn't slow him down. I don't really have bad days yeah. anymore. I mean, it's really not impossible for me to have a bad day because I know if I just stay in the game, I'm going to win at some point. Because, but, but, but you've, you've disconnected the attachment of emotion uh -huh. to the win or the loss. That's one of the most powerful things that people never see about you that I get to see from the back end is you could go close the biggest deal of your life you could go close the biggest deal of your life, and I'm like, I'm Yo, the next deal. that was a big deal, bro. Aren't you gonna like celebrate? You're like, yeah, man, it's, it worked out great. It worked out yeah, how yeah, it was supposed yeah. to. Yeah. You lose a big deal, ah, man, I lost it. On to the next deal. Yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. It, in both situations, it's a very it, important point Jared's saying. I, I don't celebrate, I don't go into some, oh my God, we gotta go on a vacation mm -hmm. now because we got such a big deal. I'm just, okay, yeah, that happened, it's supposed to happen. Oh, that happened. Well, that happens, right? So, and, then, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm back into the activity again. Yeah. When, you, when, you, when you're a new salesperson, just watch this. Take note of this. And if, and if this happens to you, know that this is you. When you get a deal, how long does it take you to get back into your thing? I remember when I first started working for you, I got a deal. Dude, I was destroyed for like three hours. A, a deal would destroy. Oh yeah, because yeah. I was like, I gotta go. It, it, it was like three hours before I got back into the deal and like started doing the thing again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it just, it, it totally you takes. You replayed it and everything oh, in my head. Gosh. Oh my God, yeah, so And then you're happy and you're walking around. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. got, you got oh, your look deal. what I did. <laughs> Who does that over here, Dave Robards? No, I think yeah. a lot of the guys have worked through that. So, yeah. but, but. so look, a couple things you guys can do tonight, okay? What can you do out of this today? First of all, let me just say, Jared did a interview with me yesterday. You have to watch this on YouTube, okay? Yeah. He asked me, like as many interviews as I've done, he asked me stuff that, 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 that really everybody should see. Yeah. I was really yeah, proud, yeah. proud of that, doing that. It was fun actually doing uh -huh. that, that interview with you. And, and it, I, I, think it's, I think people are going to like it a lot. I so that's on the YouTube it. channel. Yeah. If you want to join us tonight for the mentor program, if, you are, if you're in a place where you're like, hey, I'm ready, Christian, mm -hmm. the, the dude that called the $2,000 yep. man before that. If you guys are ready for somebody to be hard on you, to not take your bullshit, mm -hmm. okay? And that's really what these calls were today. It's yeah. Like, stop it. Yeah. Stop it, dude. You, you're having bad days, bro, because you're walking into the day crippled with a crippled expectation. And so you're going to get crushed. 
Um, if you're ready for that, tonight's the last night you can join this. GrantCardon.com yeah. forward slash MP. It's $997. You get 12 weeks of mentoring, 11 weeks of mentoring. With Brandon Dawson, me, Grant, Richie Dolan, Frank Kern, Bunch Elena of my Cardone. Friends. Like, uh, like we're we're putting it, we're putting together an amazing group of people, of coaches and mentors, to work you through some of this stuff. Uh, and but, a network, we created and, a network for you, and you get access to that to that community that I was telling you about online. And when you complete the program, or when you send in confirmation of your hotel or flight, we're going to gift you. A free seat at special the 10X Growth Conference in a very special section. Those are $3,500 seats. It's right next to the stage because we want to acknowledge the people that made a commitment to, for 90 days, dial in, lock show in. show you off to the world. And, and, and make, some, make some major things happen. GrantCardone.com forward slash MP. GrantCardone.com forward slash MP. For those mentors that are already in the program, um, tonight, 8 p.m. I started 45 minutes early last week. 8 p.m., We'll send you the Zoom link. Mm -hmm. Only those people that are in the network get that invite. Make sure you have your video turned on tonight. Yep. yep. Okay, that's the only people we're going to talk to. If you don't have video, you can watch, but you, nobody's yep. going to talk to you. Nobody's going to acknowledge you. We're going to treat you like you're anonymous because obviously you're acting like you're anonymous. Okay? <laughs> GrantCardone.com forward slash MP if you haven't joined. Uh, for those of you who have joined and you want to guarantee that seat, that yep. $3,500 seat, where's the guarantee? 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash confirm. Yeah, 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash confirm. That will allow you to confirm your seat and you can select it today while the best seats are still available. Okay, and then there was one other thing that we, the, that we wanted to Well, for everybody people. else that isn't in the mentor program, oh, yeah. we just launched a special selection of seats for anybody that follows us online. This is where you're going to be hearing about this deal on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. The people that are most connected to us that are following us here, you guys, we appreciate you. We opened up a special section. It's an extremely limited selection of seats. Go to 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash GA, forward slash GA to get access to those seats. And, and uh, again, this is just for people watching the show live today. If you're on YouTube watching, please subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Mm -hmm. What do you like? What don't you like? What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Was I too hard on the callers? Was the sales call mm -hmm. to the dealership, was I brutal on the guy? Or was I unfair? Was I? He didn't even it? ask for your name, man. Nothing, dude. But he, like, he was. It sounds good. Great at like I was impressed at I first. Was I was totally, like, oh, this guy's gonna do really I knew good. Exactly how it was gonna go. Yeah. I knew he would be good. He'd know the inventory. He'd be able to rah rah me, and then never ask for a name, never ask for a number. And I knew for sure. I I, I would have bet money he's gonna hang up on me on the end of the call. Yeah. If you go back and listen to that call, listen to how brutal it ends. Yeah. He said, "I'm having a bad day now." When he ended that call like that, he confirmed his, "I hate this guy." One like, th one thing that I do want to tell maybe you that was too far. If, if you but. sell if you sell on the phone, never ever hang up. Because uh, humans have this natural instinct to wait on a call. Like it's the most bizarre thing in the world. But when I, make, when I was making calls and people would be like, no, 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 I'm not interested. I used to do that. Yeah, I, used yeah. to, I used to be like, but then I, okay. I stopped and I'd listen and they'd still be there. They wouldn't hang up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'd be like, you still there? And they'd be like, not anymore. Click. For any of you who want to grab that 20, Jared, uh, Jared's totally right. Any of you who want to grab that $20,000 seat, two rows, front two rows, mm -hmm. okay? We have two special seatings, front two rows, 20 grand a seat. They're on half price right now for 10, mm -hmm. or you come for the full 20 and you get a, a visit here at 10X headquarters. We had Singapore, Malaysia in the room yes, in, in, in yesterday. Had a 22 year old kid come in here with yep. his buddy today. Showed me his bank account. He's like, hey man, there's $13 million in my account. I got another 60 coming this year. 22 years old. He left $5.4 million while he was here. Jesus. Said, put it in Cardone Capital, take care of my money. You my Uncle G. Come on. So if you guys want to come to 10X headquarters, see what we're doing here, see all the departments, see the studio, see our classroom. What do we have for classroom? Live, you can come here. Yep, come the next here. one's gonna be December. Uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh for what, our what, sales deep dive in our 10X 360 program. Fifth, sixth, and sixth. Come to Miami. That is an unbelievable three day deep dive on sales. Fifth, sixth, How seventh, those, and eighth. Uh, the deep dive is 10K. The first two days is 10K. Okay. Then Saturday and Sunday for 10X 360, that's 30K. And when you do that, we'll include the deep dive at no charge. 
And then, Jared, what about the automotive training? Yep, and then on 10X. December 17th and 18th, we're doing the 10X Automotive Academy. This is for all of our automotive friends. The, this is a $3,500 seat to get access to it. It's gonna be two days digging into sales, how you can improve your processes, how you can improve your people, how you can have them be more accountable to the goals and the targets that you set, and- If, if you have ever done business with yep. me anywhere in the last 30 years, you're a car dealer. I will give you one seat free in December. Okay? Come on. There's only 100 people that can fit back there. Yep. If you've ever done business with me, I don't care what it was, seminar, in-house training, e-pencil, one seat free, okay? Call. Email, email Jeff yep. at GrantCardone.com to, to get an RSVP there. If you're a car, if you're a car dealer, Jeff GM, sales Cardone. manager. Com. Yeah. Jeff at Jeff GrantCardone.com. Jeff at GrantCardone.com. Jeff at GrantCardone. That's for all my auto dealers, friends, if you've ever done business with me ever, on anything, I'll give you a $3,500 seat free December 17th and 18th here in Miami at 10X headquarters. Jared, you're awesome, dude. Okay. I think you're awesome. Pound it out. Pound it out. Okay, tomorrow, Cardone Zone, but every day, wherever you are, I come to you to bring you the Cardone Zone to get you your attitude right. Whether it's a young hustle, you got to get on. The marriage, you got to get integrated and facilitate it. The real estate nation? A uh, real estate nation's on Mondays. Tuesday's the interview with the power players. And remember, strap on. Strap on, folks. Strap that condom on. Get that 10X condom. Strap it on. And keep your success strong or be a ding-dong. <laughs> this offer I'm about to share with you is unbelievable. Unbelievable. 100% of your money gets credited at my store. Pick your seat, secure your seat, pay for your seat, and what I automatically do is give you a 100% credit at GrantCardone.com. 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 Plus 100.